Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is Renee, and today I'm participating in a collab that is being hosted by Ed Penny's Place, the 12 Days of Christmas, Day 2. Now I'm going to be leaving a link in my description box uh, to the playlist into Penny's channel. Now today what I'm doing is I'm putting together um, a wreath and I've been working on it but I'm going to use some batting just starting with the wire wreath and I'm using some batting material to give it fullness. I'm also using this material that I got from Hobby Lobby and you can see that it's shed so I haven't even tried to even clean it up but it sheds all over the place. So that's what you see the little speck on my table is just where the material sheds. And I'm using the twine to use as a string to hang it and to embellish it. Now, if you want to embellish it, I just think I'll stay with maybe something really simple, but you can use pine cones or maybe some Christmas ornaments. And I am using pink this year, so you might want to choose to use something like that. And I have some snowflakes as well. Of course, I'm going to um, take my bat and, and just place it around the reef to add a little bit more fullness to it. And I'm going to glue that batting down and then I'm going to uh, cover it. So I'm going to, um, again, just show you the materials I'm using. This is some cloth. Uh, this really sheds a little bit. I got that from Hobby Lobby. I think I got the batting material. It's a material that people sometimes use in quilting. Uh, I got that from Walmart. Of course, some um, of the ornament pine cone, probably from Walmart, um, Hobby Lobby, um, different places. And so I'm going to just show you what I came up with. Because sometimes my camera, when I try to do things off screen, is like I need to work with it. But it gets a little tricky. So I'll show you uh, another part of the process after I finish covering the wire frame. Okay, guys. This is what it looks like after I finish. You can see. And I think it's nice and full because I used the batting underneath that. I wanted a brown fur material, but it was a little bit more expensive, so I chose to use this again. Try to use something uh, very neutral and uh, maybe something with a little rustic elements. And so now I'm going to add some embellishment to that and to see how that looks. Okay, this is one idea, to use Christmas ornaments. I've added, yeah, a few Christmas ornaments. And of course I have a snowflake. I thought I had it hung on there, but a snowflake. And with those, that might be one way I might leave it. Okay. Here's another look. Might want to use a pine cone or two for something a little bit rusted. So that's another idea. Another look might be to add a little bit more glam. So you can use like a little diamond wrap. I think I got that from the dollar store. So that's another idea. You can hang it. I'm holding it upside down. But you can hang it maybe using some diamond wrap. So with this idea, you could actually have several different looks. Okay, and guys, for the final look, I just added a silver poinsettia clip, and that gives you a little bit more glam, too, if you like silver, maybe instead of the um, 
gold diamond wrap, or you can use like a white pine setter, or a red one, or maybe even some green foliage. That's another idea as well. So, thank you so much for viewing my video today, guys. And if you're not a subscriber, I'd love to have you join the family. Remember to like and comment and hit the notification bell so you'll be alerted when I upload a video. And thanks so much, guys, for hanging in there with me. And I'll see you in the next video. Happy Holidays!